Advent is coming. It's less than a week away. What are you doing? I've been looking on Pinterest for some vlog ideas and some video ideas and podcast topics. And I found a pen that's called 10 out of the box ideas for Lent. So I'll make a better video saying what I'm doing, but I wanted to go through this. Um, this girl's actually very cute. Her name is Becky. And I just wanted to uh, read them to you and we'll go through and we'll react to them. Here are 10 things to give up for Lent. 10 out of the box ideas for Lent. Number one, you don't buy anything you don't need. If you can live without it, you don't need it. Give it up for Lent and put the money that you would have spent into a jar. You'll be surprised how quickly you build up your savings. Once you see how much you saved in 40 days, split it into two groups, saving and donating. Don't spend it. You've worked too hard. Okay. Um, I like this one. Could be better about, like, saving. But honestly, it kind of stresses me out to spend money. Like, the more expensive it is, the more, like, like even, like, grocery shopping or, like, things that I do need. It stresses me out. Throw away 40 things for 40 days. Okay, my mom would probably love it way more than me, but this is fun. You'll walk around your house and collect 40 things and donate or throw away. Every day until Lent ends, try donating because you're helping others. 40 days of home organization. Go a step further this year. This is great. No gossiping. Give up gossiping for Lent. That means you can't got you cannot do any gossiping. Not if someone says something negative, either say something nice or don't say it at all. Okay, that one's good. I think my sister did this one time for Lent. Work out daily to take care of the body God gave you. I work out like six days a week on a good week, so I feel like this one's easy for me. And then they have some really good Bible verses from John chapter one verse two. From Corinthians 6 19 20 don't eat after dinner this one would be so hard for my brother give up soda for Lent I hate carbonated drinks I know people who are really obsessed with soda this would be uh, good for them I love number eight it says say three nice things to your spouse and kids daily you could do like family members co-workers all of the things. I like this one. Everybody says I do a good job with like affirmations and stuff um, to other people, but honestly, it's not like my go-to love language to give or receive. Don't eat out for 40 days. Honestly, this one is good. I feel like, yes. Some people um, count Sundays as still part of Lent and other people don't because it's like our mini Easter. But for Christmas, I gave my family a little like book of gift cards and some of them are restaurants, some of them are like activities. Honestly, we still have so many to do. Finally, number 10 is replace 30 minutes of TV or screen time with 30 extra minutes of devotion or prayer time. Again, another really good thing to do during Lent is just to spend more time in prayer and to work on your prayer life. Okay, they keep going. Number 11, do not complain or speak negatively. Could all do way better on this. That was the last one. Okay, so I hope that you guys got something out of this. I'm gonna obviously leave this linked um, down below for you guys and stay tuned because there's more Lent and Easter videos coming. So I can't wait to see you then. Uh, if you're on the podcast, don't forget to check out the YouTube channel. And if you're on the YouTube channel, don't forget to check out the podcast. And I will see you guys when I see you. Go light a candle. Ciao, babes.